What's up guys? I hope you enjoyed that week fast video that I uploaded like a few days ago. Um, so today I finally got my Mishimoto from Mount Intercooler, hence the title of the video. But I also got my sponsorship stuff along with it. That was the whole point why I bought all this stuff. So let me show you real quick what's in the pack and what I got as a sponsor from them. So obviously you get the nice Penguin Mishimoto little, I don't, I don't know if it's an air freshener. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I also got like different, I guess, pamphlets and stuff from them. Water container things, or I don't know how you call these things. You put it in like your mugs or whatever. Got a nice lanyard from Mishimoto. Let's go. Uh, and then running the decals that I have to put in by Mishimoto. It's sort of like a required thing, almost like with the Aeroflow Dynamics, like with Team Subi Snails, I have to put like at least two, one or two decals. In this case, it's two of them. So that's just something I wanted to show you guys, not to eat up so much time of the install video. But that's pretty much what I got from the Mishimoto team sponsor pack. So thank you guys again. Shout out to you guys for accepting me as a sponsor. It's really cool. I'm glad to be part of the team as well. But let's get to the install video. All right, guys. So the first thing with the install, I'm pretty sad that it didn't come with any stencils, meaning like on the front of the inner cooler, you can't really paint the letter M or paint the words Mishimoto onto the inner cooler. But I mean, it's whatever. But the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the stock inner cooler on top right there. Uh, what we're going to be doing is really simple. just basically unbolting everything, taking off the stock bypass valve and basically removing the whole unit. And then from that, we're gonna be moving into installing the front mount intercooler. So let me just show you real quick what the areas are that I need to unbolt. So you can see right here where the bolt is, that dead screw in the middle right there. A uh, few bolts from the stock bypass valve right there one right there that you can see along the hose so basically just taking out this whole unit uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that so that way we can proceed and go ahead and install the actual front mount intercooler all right guys so update I took out the front or not front the top mount intercooler as well as the cop SF intake the only reason why is because I want to have as much room as I can to play with the piping, meaning having space to run longer pipes now for the front mount intercooler going all the way to the throttle body and to the turbo inlet. So let me just show you real quick what I am talking about. So as you can see, again, I'm pretty sure this is kind of hard to see it, but this is where the intake was. I took out the whole Cobb SF intake right here. This is where it was going. And this is where the top mount intercooler was, right here. So obviously that's the hood scoop running towards it. And then this is where it was. I am not taking anything else out. That's all I need to take out is just those two things. And this is what it is. So this is it. This is the top mount intercooler all out. All I had to do is take this screw out and take these two screws for the bypass valve and then take this screw out right here and then one right there. So it was really, really simple actually to take out this thing and it's super light too. It was really not heavy at all. Um, all I need to do is basically obviously read the manual, um, start. I think I need to take this crash bar out right here. This thing. This whole bar right here, I'm pretty sure I need to take out just because I don't see how I could fit the whole intercooler in there without the bar interfering. I don't I don't know. I'm going to read up more about it tomorrow, but this is just something tonight I wanted to get a head start so that tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, I'm going to get straight to installing the intercooler. But 
that's pretty much it for tonight i'm gonna close it off i'm pretty tired right now but that's the update tonight and i'll catch you in the morning all right what's up guys good morning to you guys so what's gonna happen today obviously i'm installing the rest of the front mount intercooler but uh first things first according to instructions manual thanks to my laptop the mishimoto sending me uh, installation guide I'm gonna be removing this crash bar right here I don't know if it's temporary or I have to remove it permanently uh, kind of sucks because it's like a safety thing but the car like protects the car pretty much the chassis the whole chassis of the car but it's fine um, I'm gonna be taking that out and putting this on this L bracket relocation bracket thing uh, all these three holes are going to be going straight right there to where those bolts are pretty much what this is securing this whole bar is going to be replaced with this just so I can mount these on so I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, I apologize ahead in advance if I don't show every single step possible again I'm doing this by myself honestly a lot of things I do is by myself so I will try my best to show each step as I go through the installation process. But let's go ahead and begin. All right guys, so the bracket is installed, the new crash beam that they gave us right here. This is the new crash beam installed. Just use the, sim the old hardware that they give you or that you used for the original crash beam. I need to put one right there. But basically next step is putting this these two right here one here and one here putting this whole intercooler onto these holes one there and one on that side so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then see where that takes us so update uh, I installed the front mount intercooler reservoir right here uh, bolted on with two 10 millimeters that were was already provided uh, I went ahead and used the clamps and hooked up the pipes for it so this right now is running up right here this is literally just underneath the headlight it's just basically going up underneath and coming out to here so that's that side and then right side I have the couplers installed but I didn't install the right side yet just because it's a little more confusing I don't have as much room to play with just because of the batteries in the way and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and figure out the left side first and it'll eliminate one or two pipings so I'll know for sure which piping to use on the right side for the intercooler core. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through that and keep in mind guys, if you bought a 2014, or 2008 to 2014 front mount intercooler for your WRX or STI, just know that there's not really any instructions that are clear on what you need to do. You kind of just have to play it on your own and use logic to figure out okay well this should go here based on the angle of the piping and stuff like that that's honestly what i'm just doing right now i'm just using pure logic to install this kit uh it's just i don't know why mishimoto didn't really make a video on how to install for this specific generation eagle eye wx or sti to install the kit but uh, they just gave basically like a guide installation guide but not an installation video uh, for those who are visual learners like me i base i learn based off of watching not really reading i mean i can understand what the thing is saying but it's like it's harder for me to grasp and understand okay well how does what does this piece look like what are you talking about you know i i work better with videos so um that's what i'm doing now just pretty much eyeballing it just kind of winging it and using logic like I said to install all the pipings and stuff and the couplers and hoses so right now like I said I'm earlier I'm gonna just install the left side of the piping first and then I'll come back to the right side and then I'll update you guys along the way all right what's up guys so I am sorry I skipped honestly a lot of steps only reason why is just because I wanted to get done with it and I ran into so many issues but I fixed pretty much 99% of them. So let me real quick run down through everything that's been going on. So you got the piping like I showed you earlier from the left core 
running all the way up coming out and then it's running all the way to basically the intake manifold this is the cold side so the left side is the cold piping however so the left side is completely fine it's all good to go right side however has an issue and this is the part that's missing is the turbo compressor outlet there's supposed to be a pipe that came with this kit and runs all the way and hits to this pipe so it's supposed to be like that and then everywhere else is fine like i said running all the way down through this side which i can show you and comes out through this end right near the washer fluid reservoir and comes out to the right core this is the cold uh this is the hot side sorry this is the hot side and then the left side is the cold side one last thing right now i just need to install is the bypass valve stock bypass valve flange uh connecting it to what's given in basically the hole on the left side of the piping so everything is fine um i didn't even need to use like two of these brackets here for these two i honestly don't even know what it's for like i said i was winging it the whole time and I actually got through it. I mean, it's pretty much done. I'm just missing that one piece, otherwise it's good to go. Yeah, I, I had a heck of a time just trying to figure it out all on my own, not even really using videos. I end up using pictures that people installed uh, before and then just kind of like looking at it, eyeballing it and seeing how it went. But besides that, it's done, guys. Like, take a look. Mishimoto Front Mount Intercooler 2014. The sad thing is I can't use my SF airbox by Cobb anymore. Right there. I won't be able to use that just because of this this whole restriction here. And with this piping in the way. Which is fine, I mean I don't really care, it's okay. But I'll probably be selling that soon. So but besides that guys, it's done. Um I already gave a call to Mishimoto, told him I need that piece, it's missing. And I literally have like the couplers and the, the clamps and everything for it but I'm just missing that one pipe but besides that I'm gonna throw back the colder intake reconnect the battery well I mean I won't be able to install it but yeah guys that's pretty much it if you have any questions please let me know or please comment down below because I know I probably missed a lot of steps but I figured there's not even a single video out there or 2014 Mishimoto from Mount Intercooler install. Not not a parent, not a uh, Cobb from Mount Intercooler, but a Mishimoto one. So like I said, just let me know if you guys have any questions throughout watching the video of the install. Uh, I'll make another video once the actual part comes for the turbo inlet. But that's pretty much it guys. I will catch you guys later and I will keep you guys away as always. See ya.